Evening. The Premier's plan for a 90-kilometre suburban rail loop has been given a boost with Federal Labor leader Bill Shorten promising to contribute hundreds of millions of dollars. The state government is now considering adding more stations to its flagship project, but the opposition has questioned the cost. State political reporter Andrew Lund. Braving the morning breeze, Bill Shorten was given a rooftop briefing by the Premier. So basically run straight through along here. Before pledging to match State Labor's $300 million commitment to plan the suburban rail loop. We're going to end the drought on infrastructure investment in Victoria. That'll mean we'll be able to get more of that work done faster and moving perhaps beyond uh, engineering and design into that important pre uh, construction work. The 90 kilometre rail line would link Cheltenham with Box Hill, Doncaster, Broadmeadows, the airport, Sunshine and Werribee. Every dollar that Victoria needs to make this city railway a reality is committed as of today. 600 million on a project that's conservatively costed at 60 billion. <laughs> no wonder people say nice idea but you ain't really going to do that. Other critics have questioned the decision to bypass transport planners and despite the lengthy construction timeline, the transport minister's already spruiking the expected impact on crowding. That will free up around 10% uh, of extra space will be created on the Frankston line. It's understood Labor is also examining how the project could help address congestion on the Geelong line with the potential to run extra tracks alongside the regional rail link to serve stations such as Tarnit, which is the second busiest on the regional network. They're going to need to look at where, where exactly the rail line goes, where the stations are and how it can best serve, uh, I guess, the, the future population of Melbourne. Labor has promised to start construction by 2022 if it wins November's election. Andrew Lund, Nine News.